Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Bill. Uh, this is going to be a recap from the Power Rangers game. This would be two weeks of gaming, so this is pretty much a month's worth of recap. Um, we game every other Tuesday in this game. So, we saw an alien ship pretty much crash into the uh, Angel Grove area. The, uh, what was it, the bay area and there's an island near where it crashed we tracked that down by finding some social media uh recordings of where it landed um from there we get some jet skis and head over we find an underwater cave and we dive down to it and that's where we find the ship we see the aliens interacting and they hand something to a cybernetic wolf. It runs off down the cave. Uh, the aliens activate the ship to fire at us, so we counterattack the ship. It took us three turns before we even hit the ship. And then I don't remember how long it took us to destroy it, maybe another two turns. Um, We explore the ship um, after defeating the defenses, and then from there we send the information back to Zordon. Uh, we then proceed to chase after the two aliens. I have in here that we fought them, um, and that they disappeared. And then we encountered a group of putties and that's the last I remember as the player because that's pretty much when I passed out on, on this online game. Uh, but there was another one of Rita's uh, henchmen with the putties that the party was having a really hard time hitting. And without, without having a critical, only the Red Ranger and the Black Ranger of our group, so my character and somebody else's, could hit the thing um, with a lower number than a natural 20. So we continue the adventure the next uh, time we play. We're after that cybernetic wolf now, and now we have one of Rita's uh, henchmen in tow with us. Uh, he ended up surrendering after so many turns of us fighting. So and his name was Squat. We, uh, we have him tied up, we're going around, we hear a noise, and then one of the players makes a successful uh, alertness check to follow which area in this maze-like uh, cave system that it's coming from. So we track it down. It's the cybernetic wolf, and he has the gr a Green Ranger's uh, flute uh, dagger, and he summons the... Uh, Dragon Zord. So we begin by summoning our uh, Zords, but the game rules stipulate that it's going to take like four turns for them to get there. So to counter that, the Orange Ranger uses his attack to target the uh, flute that's in his hands, and he ends up hitting it. It ends up falling and uh, smashing to pieces in, on the uh, ground below. The Dragon Zord's last command was to pick that cybernetic uh, dog beast thing up and put it on his shoulder. So that's the last thing it does while it's under control. After that, it just goes berserk and it's heading straight towards the command center through Angel Grove. So we uh, get situated. We're attacking the cybernetic wolf guy with our ranged attacks using some of the newer rules that the Game Master has discovered by reading more carefully through the book and very disappointed with our inability to hit last game session. So we start using that and we start hitting him a few times. I don't think we defeated him quickly before our Zords got there. I think we defeated him when our Zords got there or after our Zords got there. Either way, the Orange Ranger uses his ability to create a item, and that item didn't specify how big or small it was, so he creates a 
pretty durable chain that'd be long enough to wrap around the legs of the dragon sword. And we begin doing that. And we're not pulling it tight until our zords get there. When our zords get there, uh, we transfer it over to my zord and the black ranger, I believe, was helping me. And we're trying to pull on the uh, chain. And for like four rounds, we were unable to get enough strength checks or enough uh, purchase to pull the chain tight and topple the dragon sword. But eventually we do succeed. And when we succeed, I then have my zord stand on top of the dragon sword to kind of use the weight to kind of keep it down while I'm fighting or trying to aid uh, the rest of the party. Oh, that's what else was going on. The We did defeat, for the most part, the um, cybernetic wolf guy, but then Rita made him big, so he's also the size of the the zords so the other zords were fighting it and the pink rangers zord was making a beeline to the uh, command center to pick up the flute uh, dagger that we actually had in storage and she grabs it and comes back but she's that gone for almost the whole combat with the cybernetic wolf and we managed to defeat it either right before or right after uh, we dropped the uh, dragon sword to the ground. So I, I think there was a round or two while I was on top of the dragon sword, I was shooting at the uh, uh, wolf, cybernetic wolf guy. And then the pink ranger shows up and plays the flute whistle. So we gain the uh, dragon sword under our control and we send it back to its uh, uh, storage. And that's pretty much where that adventure ended that I remember. But I have in here, that we transformed into the Megazord. Oh, five alien spacecraft arrived. And that's it. That's all I got down. So we do finally combine our Zords and transform into the Megazord. And there's five alien spaceships that have arrived. So that's pretty much where the game left off. So that's where it's probably going to take up next game session. Um, hopefully that was informative and comprehensive enough to follow. Until we all game again, guys.